Hello, my name is Brian K. Hempel. I'm an author, artist, and teacher. I hope you can join me to celebrate the release of my book, The Elements of Creative and Expressive Artistry, A Philosophy for Creating Everything Artistic. As an artist and a teacher, I wanted to write a book that would be beneficial and instructive to all artists. I use hundreds of relevant examples, citations, and quotations, past and present, to support the more than 45 chapters of this book. You'll find advice from authors, painters, sculptors, dancers, choreographers, actors, film directors, musicians, teachers, psychologists, scientists, and philosophers writing on all forms of art, including visual art, literary arts, dramatic arts, musical arts, dance arts, and hybrid art forms. The Elements of Creative and Expressive Artistry is an all artist guide which identifies those elements which are vital to all expressive art, regardless of your artistic discipline. So whether you are a performer, a visual artist, or a writer, the Elements of Creative and Expressive Artistry will provide you information to improve your artistic work. But let me give you some background on the evolution of this book. Uh, for the first couple of years, I did my primary writing late at night or in the early morning hours, uh, and also during weekends. And as you might imagine, during the summer, I was able to go full tilt uh, because I had uh, shortened work days. Uh, and over time, the fledgling concepts of the book started to evolve. Writing a book is a little like playing with colored kitchen tiles. If I had 26 letters on them, I could create hundreds of thousands of word combinations. Well, writing a book isn't actually like playing with kitchen tiles or playing with Scrabble letter tiles. It's still stimulating and can reduce stress. I continued writing and thinking and thinking and writing and the days and nights flew by. As to the seasons, volumes of thoughts and words poured out of me as I constructed my hypothesis on the arts and how all artistic disciplines shared a common set of artistic elements and impulses. I wrote and I wrote. I have completed a 20,000 word manuscript entitled The Science of Creative Artistry. A year later I saw a publication but was advised to support my theories with additional research. I protested. I don't want to do additional research. I brought my protest to some of my friends who I was sure would take my side. They were educators, lawyers, doctoral and master level students, and even a librarian. Without reading my manuscript, they too conspired like an ancient Greek course. You gotta do the research. You gotta do the research. And as you see, I started my research. I guess their voices got to me. No man is an island. You don't live in a bubble. We all live in a yellow submarine, etc., etc. I pulled all sorts of books from my library, and I bought other books too on visual arts drama, cinematography, dance, the musical arts, etc., and diligently began to do my research. I even subscribed to online services. In fact, the research was so extensive it took me years to incorporate it into the manuscript, and once I completed the manuscript, I kept revising and revising. As time went on, the manuscript grew from 20,000 words to 60,000 words to 120,000 words to 160,000 words. Five years later, it's nearly 170,000 words, or approximately 600 pages. Periodically, my editor would ask, is the manuscript ready yet? It's almost ready, I kept responding, just a few more months. More and more months flew by, and to the seasons, and before you knew it, another year rolled by. And I kept polishing and polishing and revising and polishing the manuscript until it gleamed like the facets of a diamond being turned into sunlight. In other words, I gave the manuscript the old spit shine. In fact, the editorial board at our universe designated my book an editor's choice selection. Editor's choice usually identifies a book as an exceptional read in its category. And five years later... Uh, hold, hold up, up to my chest, uh, like this. Five years of writing and research, five years of artistic sacrifice, five years of blood, sweat, and crazy gluing myself to my chair. Well, that sort of deserves a book party. Hey, and I don't even smoke. The cigar is just one of those cheesy props, you see. 
and you've got to admit, a one-man party is kind of pathetic. But hopefully it does make the point that I do want to celebrate the launch of my book with some good friends, some good food, and did I already say a really, really good book? I bet you we can throw a killer party. Well, maybe not that killer. Check out my book donation incentives, contribute if you can, and maybe I'll even see you at my book launch celebration. Zoom zoom for now. Take care.